In this video, I'll show you how to create a website, optimize it for speed, and add custom elements like a professional email address and an SSL certificate, all using Hostinger. Following these steps, you'll make the most out of your Hostinger account, and you'll turn even the $1 cheap web hosting plans into speed monsters. Following these steps, I was able to make my Hostinger website load in just one second, scoring A's in almost every category. Let's start. To get started, you'll need a domain name and web hosting. I assume you already have a plan with Hostinger, if so, then skip to this part of the video for the actual tutorial. But if you don't have a plan yet, let's quickly go over how to get web hosting and a domain name from Hostinger with an additional discount. First, click the link in the description below, this will take you to the Hostinger website and will also apply an additional 10% discount upon purchase. But I want to mention that the links down below are actually affiliate links. That means if you make any purchases using them, I'll make a commission and you'll get a discount. Obviously, this is how I monetize this YouTube channel and how I'm able to create these tutorials as a full-time job. So, you using the links helps me out a bunch, it's super appreciated, but never expected of you. Now, choose a plan that you want. If it's your first time making a website, the cheapest plan will do just fine. If you're a more advanced user, I recommend you go for the business plan to have a bit more features. Choose the subscription period, the longer you buy for, the bigger the discount. For example, a 2-year and a 4-year plan almost have the exact same price. When you scroll down to this section, click have a coupon code and type in Emmet Reviews. This will give you a 10% discount, currently the largest one available. And just go through the checkout process as you normally would. And awesome, now you're a proud owner of web hosting. If you bought the cheapest plan, you'll also need to register a website name. You can do that by clicking on domains in your Hostinger dashboard. But if you bought the premium or above plans, you actually get to register the name for free for one year. Here's how to set everything up for the first time. Next to the plan you purchase, click setup. Then click start now. If you purchased a website name from Hostinger, choose it from the list. If you don't see anything here, you can buy a name from Hostinger or use the name you bought somewhere else. Fill out all of the necessary information to register your website name and click finish domain registration. Next, select the build a new website option and from the next menu, select WordPress. Then think of your WordPress login information that you'll use later. In the next menu, click on skip. I don't need a template because we'll add a better one later. And now comes a very important step. Click on this little button here and select the region where you expect your users to be from. I expect my website visitors to be from the United States, so I'll choose North America. Finally, click finish setup and give it a couple of minutes. Now, Hostinger will take care of the installation process completely automatically. This should take around three to four minutes at most. And once the installation is done, we'll take care of the website design, optimizations, and security. The very first thing you need to do is click on the dashboard button you can see at the top of your control panel. Now, you can visit your website by clicking this button right here, and as you can see, it's already online, but it doesn't look very impressive and still has this not secure tag at the top. So let's get to work. Go back into your control panel and update the PHP version to the newest one. At the time of making this video, PHP 7.4 is the latest version. Next, click on the Edit Website button, and this will take you to the WordPress dashboard. It's the main tool that you'll use to design and make changes to your website. Let's add a fresh new look to the site by hovering over Appearance, then clicking Themes, and finally add new theme. In the search bar, type in Astra. Next to the Astra theme, click on Install, and once the installation is over, click Activate. Now, you should see this Get Started button appear. Click on it, choose Elementor as your page builder, and at the top, you can sort the themes as free and choose the design that you like. All of these website templates are free and you can choose whichever you want. You'll be able to modify it later, so don't worry about that. Once you have a design that you like, click on it and choose the Import Complete Site at the very bottom here. Then simply wait for the installation to be finished and once it's finished, click View Site. If you don't see your design right away, don't worry, 
Just click Ctrl, Shift and R at the same time to refresh the page and clear the cache. Your design should be visible at this point. Now you can edit the design by clicking on Edit with Elementor and everything can be changed by double clicking or adding new elements from the sidebar right here. Elementor is actually very customization friendly and it's not that hard to work with. I don't want to spend too much time explaining you how to work on the actual design itself because I don't want for this video to be over an hour long. I'll make a separate video on how to work with Elementor that you will be able to find somewhere around here once that video is finished. Now let's continue working on this website's speed and security optimizations. Okay, so see this not secure tag? Let's get rid of it and encrypt the website at the same time. Once you're in your Hostinger control panel, click on the dashboard button and scroll down until you see SSL. Click on it. Now, it will load a list of available certificates. If your plan came with a free certificate, you'll just need to click on an install button. I don't have it here because my plan didn't come with a free certificate. But do not worry, there is actually an alternative method on how to get an SSL certificate completely free of charge that I'll show you right now. If you already have an SSL certificate and you just want to go forward with the tutorial, you can skip to this part of the video. But I recommend watching this next part anyway because knowing how to get a free SSL certificate will make sure you'll never have to buy one ever again. Go to cloudflare.com and sign up for a free account. Once you're signed up, you'll need to type in your website name and choose the free plan. Cloudflare will do a quick scan, just click continue. Now, you'll need to update your name servers. So go back to your Hostinger panel and click domains at the top here. Now click this little arrow, it will take you to the DNS management area. Here you'll need to delete the existing name servers and replace them with the ones that Cloudflare gave you. Keep in mind that the DNS update isn't instant. It will take around 10 to 15 minutes for the changes to take place. Just keep refreshing the Cloudflare page until you get this screen. Do not continue until you refresh and you see this screen because the name servers need to finish updating. Once the name servers finish updating, click on the SSL slash TLS tab and make sure that the flexible option is enabled. Then click on Edge Certificates and enable Always Use HTTPS. And at this point, your SSL certificate is already installed, it's just not activated. I'll show you how to activate it completely free in the easiest way possible using two WordPress plugins. Here's how we do it. Once inside your WordPress dashboard, navigate to the plugin section. You'll need to add two new plugins. The first plugin is called Flexible SSL for Cloudflare. Just install, activate it and you don't need to do anything extra with it. And then do the same thing for a plugin called Really Simple SSL. Once the installation is done, click on Go Ahead and Activate SSL. More often than not, you will get an error message immediately. But don't worry, nothing is broken, this happens due to caching. If you want for this problem to fix itself, it actually does over time. But to speed it up, you can go into your hosting and dashboard and click on flush cache, then just restart your computer to clean the internal memory. And after that, your website should be working. But don't worry, this doesn't affect other users, it's just on your computer. And as I mentioned before, it does fix itself over time. However, once you no longer see the error, you might still have this not fully secure message. To fix that, go into your WordPress dashboard near Elementor, click on Tools, then click Replace URL. Type in your old URL with HTTP and the new one with HTTPS, then click on Replace. This mainly happens with Elementor built sites, but this should fix the error. And that should be it. At this point, you should have a working SSL certificate that you got for free. But keep in mind that this only offers the flexible encryption method. That's not a full encryption. That means the connection only gets encrypted between your visitors and Cloudflare. If you want to activate the full encryption method, I have a separate guide on how you can do that for free right here. But you can watch that after watching this video and take care of that later. 
The good news is that Hostinger is already using Lightspeed servers and pre-installed something called the Lightspeed cache onto your WordPress plans automatically. That means you'll need to do less work. Lightspeed should be enabled automatically, but you can check in your Hostinger dashboard. If it's not, just turn it on. But first things first, let's see what we're working with here. Open up a website called GT Metrics. I'll leave a link in the description down below and test out your website speed. This will show you what's slowing down your site. At the moment, my site is loading in 1.7 seconds, which isn't a bad result, but I could make it faster by serving scaled images and optimizing images. Let's do that right now. Open up your WordPress dashboard and click on plugins, then add new. Install a free plugin called Smush by pressing install and activate. Then you'll see an additional button at the side called Smush. To start image optimization, click on Bulk Smush now. This might take a couple of minutes depending on how many images there are on your website. But once that is done, next click on Resize Images, activate the Resize feature here at the top and make sure to click on Update Settings. Now click on the Lazy Load option and click on Activate, then Update Settings again. This will enable something called the Lazy Load and basically reduces the time it takes to load various images. And now if I would go into GT Metrics and do the exact same test again, you would see that my website scores much higher with Y slow and page speed. It also loads in 1 second instead of 1.7 seconds. Quite a substantial change in speed for such a small change that we did. And now your website should be in a pretty good standing. It's looking good, it's fast and it's secure. But something's missing, a little bit of that personal branding. So I'll show you how to get a free professional email address using Hostinger. Click Manage next to your web hosting plan. Then navigate to the Email Accounts tab. Choose the name that you want for your email address. I'll go with Contact, so it's contact at emitsides.tech. And think of a password. Then just click Create. And to check your professional email account, click on this blue email button. If you want to connect this account with your Gmail account, so you wouldn't need to access Hostinger every time you want to check your professional email box, I'll leave a guide at the top right now. And that pretty much covers it. This is how you basically set up a new WordPress account with Hostinger and optimize your website for the best possible performance. But your optimizations don't end here. I also have a free guide on how to step up your security using more advanced security measures that I'll leave at the end of this video. I highly recommend you watch that next. And there's also the full SSL encryption that you can work on. Actually, I'll leave both of those videos at the end. I highly recommend you watch both of them. I'll see you around.